Good afternoon. This is your May 6th update. I'm so very encouraged by those of you who are doing some amazing things in ministry to others. Several of you have been making and delivering face masks. Some of you are reaching out to others with notes and treats. Our young adult Methodists, otherwise known as yams, uh, have delivered flowers to well over a hundred people. Thank you. Thank you for your gifts. Thank you for your selfless and thoughtful ministry. On May 15th, New York on pause expires. Regions that qualify to reopen will do so in four phases. Phase one is the reopening of manufacturing, construction, and some retail locations. Retail locations must at that point offer curbside pickup. Phase two is the reopening of professional services, finance and insurance, uh, retail administrative support, and real, real estate or rental leasing. Phase three is the opening of restaurants, food services, and hotels. Finally, phase four is the reopening of arts, entertainment, uh, recreation, and education. Dates for the, the phases have not been announced, other than phase one, which is due to begin in New York on the 15th. I'm uncertain whether our region qualifies to begin phase one. We'll have to wait and see next week. Um, I'm also not sure what phase includes churches, though I suspect it will be either phase three or phase four. We'll have to wait again and we'll find out then when we can begin to gather face to face. Tomorrow is the National Day of Prayer. COVID-19 has changed everything about the way we currently live. Um, I want to encourage you to consider spending time tomorrow in prayer for the following. All levels of our government, from federal to local, our military, the media, business, education, our churches, of course, and our families. You can get more information at www.nationaldayofprayer.org. The theme scripture for the day is Habakkuk 2.14. It says, For the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Consider that text a moment. What more can we ask for than that this country would begin to see and know the glory of the Lord, and that such an outpouring of God's glory would be like the waters covering the sea? Immeasurable. Overwhelming. We are in such need of a new awakening to the things of God in America. May God answer such prayers. And may the Lord bless you and keep you until next time we meet. Amen.